Team, happy Tuesday! We're back from a little extended three-day weekend, and this is Clayton. I am Clayton. I think. Last time I checked, he's still Clayton. Anyway, uh, gonna have a good week. Short week. That my ID says I'm Clayton. Oh, yes. good. Okay, I am Clayton. The Clayton. Is that anything like the Zach Weiss? I'm better looking. Okay, got it. Just want to make Boy, sure. better looking. All right. So, it's a Music Tuesday, uh, Rocker Bob apparently is working on a music video now. He's doing the Bon Jovi cover song, right? No! Did he, did he take him, some bad medicine? I told him I would kick him out of the trailer if he started playing any Bon Jovi. Well, are you living on a prayer that that happens? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> and I'll give him bad medicine if he does. Well, I know we're going to get a lot of reviews from people that he's wanted dead or alive. Just so you know. Yes. And he did tell me that it's his life, and it's now or never. <laughs> Just so you know. You know what makes me the most sad about this? Is that you know all these lines from Bon Jovi songs. The, the other thing that like, he does say, that like, you need to get the AC fixed in the trailer because it's a blaze of glory in there <laughs> when he's playing music. Just so you know. Oh, this episode is now a blaze of glory. <laughs> uh, but speaking of Rocker Bob... He does bring up the fact that somebody is still missing. So much so that he has found himself on a milk carton. Who's on a milk carton? Actually, it's almond milk carton, but still. This guy. Almond milk. Almond's the... Have you seen this guy? I've never seen that guy before in my life. Sea Dog is still missing. He's found his way onto an... What the heck is a sea dog? It's a dude that lives down by the river in a van, apparently. But he's not down at the river. The van's not there. And we haven't seen him. And that's not even a complete number. Whoa. I can't I can't say anything. I've never seen that dude before. I never met that dude before. He does have wonderful looking hair though. His hair is pretty beautiful. That's only because it looks kind of Bon Jovi-esque. You know, it looks super fluffy. You know, it's interesting you say that because he is a little fluffy guy, but he likes to fluff his hair. He does this like fluff, fluff, fluff. That's ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> How do you guys tolerate somebody like that? <laughs> Good question. Who Good says question. He's, maybe he should stay missing? Possibly, but we care about people, and some people like him, like Rocker Bob, but um, he's... You know, well, really Rocker like, Bob also likes asparagus and uh, Tootsie Rolls. So you know nothing about this dude, Sea Dog, and where his whereabouts are at? Never seen the dude before in my life. I What the heck is a broski? Uh, well, that's what they call each other. Huh. So, like, uh, you know, he calls everybody broski. So, Robert Bob put this out. I don't know who put this out. I just know we've been asking about where is Sea Dog, and now he's found his way, obviously somewhere, but on a milk carton. He does have kind of a mean look on his face. He does look kind of spy-esque. Spy yeah, you know, you know kind of, he kind of reminds me of one of my favorite characters from Married with Children. Jefferson uh, Darcy, <laughs> who he's kind of a moron, but he did work for the FBI or CIA or something. That's right. Yeah, you know, he, he, it could all be an act. You never know. It could be. I'm gonna go with probably not. Although he did go on a hunt for the three weirdos, and we saw it in a video a long time ago. He went on a hunt for the three weirdos. Where did this show? On the morning routine. Oh, that's the thing. I don't watch the morning routine. <laughs> You said he's like in a van, right? Maybe he has like a van phone? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably not. Maybe that's a secret spy number. Maybe. I mean, you can try it, but uh, no guarantees. So uh, keep a lookout for Sea Dog. We're gonna do a little hunting around here because apparently he's from around here. My God, he looks so familiar. While you think about it, check out our good friends right here. Hello, Josh Asbill, back with a positive quote. Today's positive quote, A negative mind 
will never give you a positive life. Welcome Tuesday, how did I speak? Literally, my brain is out of Now, welcome to Tuesday, the 21st. Hope you guys enjoyed the three day week here. Uh, hope you made the most of it. Um, celebrate with what it is and whatnot. Uh, as you can hear, the air conditioner in the back is definitely giving us some problems today. But you know what? Look at the heroes. Look at the dog. Back in the ass. The bearded path with Zach, where the air conditioner did not make that noise. And so today is music, and we're going to talk a little music history today. We all love and know who they are, and in 2007, the Spice Girls, yeah, you heard it here first, in 2007, the Spice Girls announced that they're getting back together with the five original Spices. If you want to be my lover, oh, da, 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 da. yes, so, uh, yeah, that was crazy music history there. You know, I haven't had it one here either. We're going to get that going, too. Yeah, we're a little disheveled today. I, we don't even know if this microphone's plugged in right now. I could just be, oh, I could be just holding a microphone for all you know. So, hey, Tuesday, three-day weekend, we obviously had a good time as well. Um, 2002 widespread panic headlines the first Benoro Music Festival held on a seven acre farm in Manchester, Tennessee. Um, it's an inaugural four day event named for the Creole slang. Good stuff. Um, uh, they also had at this show uh, bands Trey Anastasio, uh, Ben Harper, Jack Johnson, Jurassic Five, and the String Cheese Incident were all there. That actually would have probably been a fun show, to be honest with you. That would have been a fun show. 1994, those of you who don't remember, I'm going to remind you right now, George Michael had some issues in his music career. A judge rules against George Michael in his lawsuit against his record label, Sony. Um, after this ruling went against him, it actually derailed his music career for about the next two years. Uh, last but not least, we have... Must be the summer of love. There's a free concert in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park celebrating the summer solstice. The Grateful Dead, uh, Big Brother and the Holding Company, and Quicksilver Messenger Silvers all perform. Now you guys do got to remember, the Golden Gate Park was literally just up the hill from where the Grateful Dead started off all their stuff and the whole day at Ashbury. So, you know, a little music for you guys today, a little music history. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember, it's you're going to be my lover. Do, 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 do. Take it easy, guys. It's Music Tuesday. Can you be the song? Everybody, it's Tuesday. Yee! Well, it's like I said, you know, a few Tuesdays ago when we were off on a Monday. Makes it feel like a Monday, so you should be rested out there. Yes, you should be rested on a Tuesday that kind of is a Monday for you. It's only a four-day week now, so it's a piece of cake. But we are here on June, and it's Tuesday, feeling like a Monday, the 21st. And today's national day is. It's national, you know, summer. Summer's here. 
longest day of the year because it's the summer solstice. So how? Yeah. Uh huh. So tonight it's going to be the longest night. It's not going to get dark. It'll be the late longest night that it stays light. And then we start going backwards again. Even though it doesn't seem like it, but it will be. So we can officially say it's summer. So I hope all of you out there painted your toenails this weekend. And if you don't paint your toenails, I hope you at least trimmed them because nobody wants to see your toes in them flip-flops. Although you don't wear those here anyway, so I probably won't have to see those toes. Not that you might not have nice toes, but I don't want to see them. No, I don't want to see them. Sometimes I don't want to see mine, but it is summer. So you have to think about all of those fun things. And you know what? One of the fun things about summer is not the heat. And it's hot again. I don't like it. We had a really great weekend. It was cool. And now we're back to the heat. It's like a yo-yo year. But the evenings are cooling off. So take advantage of it this evening on, you know, the first day of summer, the longest day. If it's nice and cool outside, guess what? You won't notice it. So everybody have a great day today on National Summer Solstice. Get out in the sun, summery, longest day, day. All right. He's still thinking. He thinks. I, I got it. Sea Dog was the bad guy in Under Siege. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones? No! <laughs> that is funny though, because he looked like that. He was the bad guy in Under Siege who fought Steven Seagal. That's funny. Not the. Not, yeah, that's funny. Good. Yeah. No, I see it. I see it. I don't think it's him. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Steven Seagal's the pretty legitimately the guy in that movie. He's a spy. And, uh, he tried to take over a ship. Eh, that could be where he's at. I'm not going to give C-Dog that much credit. He could be a spy, but more like the, you know, the Austin Powers type spy. Ooh, a man of mystery. Yes. Man of mystery. Definitely a man of mystery. Yeah. And he's probably hunting gold member right now. I mean, he probably likes, uh, I don't know what he likes. He probably has a super heavy chest. <laughs> Yeah. And a back. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. all right. It's a Tuesday. If you guys have any leads on Under where we Siege. might find Sea Dog, yeah, go check out Under Siege. That's a pretty good movie, actually. Under Siege Two, the one on the train. Horrible. Not good at all. No. But the first one is a classic. Yes. Probably Steve Seagal's best movie. I think. I think you're probably right. Bro. Honestly, because it's just a really good movie. It's really good. It's got a really good. Uh, Gary Busey of it too. Oh, Gary Busey. Before he went crazy. Time, right before, that was like right before he went. A little. True Gary Busey. Yeah. The Gary there. Busey we know and love. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Gary Busey. I'm fine, Gary Busey. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. We will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, on the morning routine. Take care, everybody. Bye.